temperatures are climbing and so are electric bills. So how can we beat the heat without breaking the bank? Energy expert Trent Davis is joining us with some advice on how to stay school, oh, stay cool while saving some money this summer. Thank goodness. Thank you for joining me today, Trent. I'm glad to be here. So the Linux Home Energy Report card survey just came out. What were some of the biggest findings from that report? Some very interesting stuff. 66% uh, of people gave themselves a B or an A on energy savings in the home. But as you look deeper into the results, there's plenty of opportunity for people to do little things around the house to save a lot of money this summer. So what uses, uh, or well, what uses kind of the most energy in our homes during the summer? People won't be surprised to hear that their air conditioner is usually what's going to use most of the power in the home. And I always encourage people that maintaining your cooling and heating system is one of the best ways to save money. Uh, a great way to do that is maintain the indoor and the outdoor unit. Inside, start by changing your filters monthly. The dirty filter makes the system work harder, which wastes power and can cause breakdowns. And then outside, make sure your bushes and shrubs are trimmed back at least three feet from the outdoor unit and make sure it's clear of any debris so you get nice clean airflow through that system. That'll save you money. It's, it, it's interesting that it's like just little maintenance things are what will kind of save you money. So what are some simple tasks that homeowners can do around the house to help with the energy bills? Yeah, a couple of things. Um, one of the biggest issues people run into is insufficient insulation or air leakage. So go into your attic, take a yardstick. Uh, the EPA says you need 13 to 14 inches of insulation in your attic. And if your home is over 10 years old, you probably don't have enough. Um, the other thing you can do is go around your house with a caulk gun or some um, weather stripping, and you can make sure that all those air gaps around your doors and windows are sealed up. That can add up to real savings. What's the biggest make, uh, mistake that people make when it comes to saving money on energy bills? Now, without a question, it's that they, they run their air conditioner too much while they're gone. Uh, investing in a smart thermostat like the Linux iComfort E30 is a great way to address that problem without having to, without having to think about it. You can set it and forget it because it connects via an app to your smartphone so it can detect when you're away from the home, automatically turning your temperature up while you're gone, and then it detects when you're on your way back, and so it can turn your temperature back down to a comfortable setting by the time you arrive. That way you save money and you're still comfortable. Now, I notice you have a few items next to you. Can you walk us through those items that you have? Sure. Um, you obviously see the filter here. It's critically important to keep those changed. We've got the Linux iComfort E30 thermostat here, uh, nice clean interface. Here's, uh, this is the weather stripping you'll see right there. And then here's an LED light bulb. Obviously, those use substantially less power than a typical incandescent light bulb. And here's the weather stripping and, um, and sealant that you can use around your windows and doors. Now, you said that people kind of rated themselves as A or B. Is that accurate? Because I would feel nervous rating myself. Yeah, I, I would say that great inflation is in full effect here. Um, <laughs> if C is average, then I think uh, you got 66% of people saying they're above average. Um, the fact is um, 9 out of 10 people are doing something around their home uh, to try to be more green and to save energy, but um, most people are only doing one or two things. And so a few more of these small tasks that take 30 or 45 minutes one weekend can pay off for years in the form of energy savings. I mean, seems worth it to me. So where can we go for some more information? Go to Linux.com. You can get some more uh, energy savings tips there. And if you think that you're kind of an ace at saving energy yourself, you can submit your tip in the Energy Saving Superstar Contest. You can win up to $10,000 towards an ultra high efficiency air conditioning system for your house. And more importantly, you can get up to a year's supply of ice cream free. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you're talking. All right, Trent, thank you so much for joining us. That's right. Uh, thank you for having me.